Welcome back, my booty-seeking friends. We're ready for another episode for Luther Harkin. Now, let's get ready for that slaying gold battle at a later point, because right now, whenever I complete it, it crashes. I did give them all the needed information, so hopefully they'll be able to have that fixed right away. We're not on the final build of the game, which is why a few things might crop up like they did there. But tomorrow, I get to show you the final battle. Until that point, let's end our turn. There are other pirates I want to go after who have unique armies, and they've got to go. Mad Dog Marty's going after one right now. And I've got a pretty major army for Luther. We've got a series of final battles to fight, and man, it's going to be challenging. I hope that I can pull through. We'll find out by tomorrow. Harganath, what are you up to up here? Nagaron is not fully united, but as you can see, they're able to easily take over. I mean, when you're the only player really up there, there's not a lot to keep you back. Whenever I play as the Count, I wonder where I'm going to go. I don't really know. We're doing one more vote right now between Lokir and the Count. The two ladies did not win, but don't worry. At the rate I'm going, I should be able to finish every single new leader. That would be really cool. I would enjoy that a lot. And to later on, I'll try out new modifications, too. But I don't always like to play a modification before I know how to play the faction in its current form, the base form it has. Eve ho, my friend. Okay. Where are you at? You're not too far from me. We'll be there in a few turns. And right now, Luther, I would like for you to train up your army. My madness is not weak. We want him to do that. There's a lot for me to fight for that final battle. I'm getting twitchy. Maggie, what do you have going on? If I try to build another cove right away, it won't be cheap. Eh, I'll deal with it. I've got money. There we are. Good work. You hate Druki. Eh. I don't mind. Kidnapping, no. Deception, no. Right, that won't work on her. Establish pirate coves. Which means I don't want it. I'm kidding. I'm going to take it anyway because I want to use her only on the campaign map. I'm not going to use her in a battle. So no, we will give her that in case I need her to go after another agent or whatever. All right. We're going to end our turn again. If I didn't establish coves all over, I wouldn't be able to afford my two major armies right now. But then again, I'm not really conquering a lot of land by choice. I wonder if that might be a new way to really flesh out factions instead of having to conquer the entire map every single game. You get other options too, which I really do like. I mean, sure, there might be a pirate lord out there who would like world domination, but a lot of them are probably like, you know what, I'm going to rule in my domain. That is truly what it feels like right now. Imagine any army who comes down to where we live and thrive they would be in for a really bad day. They wouldn't be able to make it very far. They'd be dead. Confederation, ah, another confederation. Minor factions who are now growing. Teclas, what is going on with you, man? I have not seen you do so well in a very long time. He's like, you called me a nerd one too many times, man. I'm gonna show off now. Here we go, mad dog, here we go. There's more treasure over here. Very cool. Luther, are you ready for a battle? You might be. Here we are. You're not really a major enemy for me. I would like replenishment. Sure, I don't really need your gold. 8,000 gold. <laughs> that is why I don't need your gold. Okay, not all of you are rank 7 yet. I want all of you to get to rank 7. All of my mainstay infantry. They're going to hold my line for me. Alright, I would like for you to replenish. You'll need a turn for that. On land. Alright, I know they don't like me being there, but they can get over it. Yeah, I can't do that battle quite yet. I will come down here to get more gold. We'll be able to invest a bit more. 
Ah, uh, here we go. More gold for me again. I'm going to develop every location that I own. Build up our walls too. And Maggie. Way up here. Why don't you move down? Yeah, sure. I don't remember if we do have another port to encounter. I'll bring you back out to the water then. Yeah. Okay. Once again, it is time for me to end my turn. There we are. I could go after Itza if I wanted to, but I might go after Teclas instead. I don't like him having that much power. And he's got a domain that I really do enjoy. It's coastal, meaning that I can easily get to him by sea. And I do enjoy coming in by sea. I'm a rough and tough seaman. Speak up. Can I help you? Oh, you don't want to fight. Who are you fighting? Followers of Chaos, Warband of the Crow, Bowmen of Orion, Last Defenders, and Order of Lore Masters. I wonder if Tankless is over there too. I'm not going to be friendly with you just yet. If anything, I could have our leader and Mad Dog Marty come down to fight him, to push him out of Lustria. Other factions would be my neighbors, but eh. it really depends if I'm able to retain control of the entire province. If I can't, then I don't want to directly own it. I could put in coves too. That could work out. Are you following me? I feel like you're following me. Okay, Mad Dog Marty. I want to make sure you're going into the right direction. Yeah, up here. There we are. Oh, look at that army. It's a really talented army. And she's level 35. I could lose that battle. My big advantage in comparison, I believe, would be my infantry. I've got tougher infantry than they do. We're going to find out. I wonder if we'll get a different map now that we're in a new area. Whenever we fight, I mean. Yeah, sure. Take that. A Buccaneer's Tavern. All together now. Yo ho, blow the man down. Okay, corruption is going up. People are relatively happy. Good, good. Public order goes up. Not important for me. Luther. How long would it take you to replenish here? A decent amount of time. Five turns. Too many. I wonder, Blue Vipers, would you like to be friendly with me? I doubt it. Sacrifices. Greetings, sea oh, Blessed rival. Dread. Why we can trade again. The currents to ensure we meet? Why don't you give me money? Okay, that much? Yes, sure, I'll take it. Who else would like to trade? Let's have a look. Clan Pestilence, you like me, but we cannot trade. Many factions hate me, but they can't do much about it. <laughs> They're like, I hate you, but ah, whatever. Forget about it. If only we had one major ally close by over here, but we do not. All right, I'll have to move up north. Or back home to my lands, too. The other option is I just conquer around here. I suppose I do need a base of operations if I conquer these two. I would still need Skaggy. I haven't been fighting Mazda Mundi. He's much more powerful than he was before. Dear me. Oh, here's another skull. Okay, well, that would be sufficient. I don't want to travel under lands. Other factions will get mad at me. They'll cry about it. Man, that one rogue army, they're everywhere. They're pretty aggressive. I mean, they like to fight. They've got some stuff to prove out there. It's in their turn again as we make more money. If a lot of you wanted me to turn this into a domination campaign, even that would be interesting. We could conquer all over. It would be violent and dangerous too.
Clan Pestilence, what are you doing again? Getting into trouble. You rat fucks. The Dread Fleet, huh? Yeah, look at that. They have a base of operations over in the East Order. Really able to dominate our friends. I don't like that. So I think whenever we're done getting rid of that other pirate army to the East, I'll bring back Mad Dog Marty. I might even bring back Luther. And we're going to target Teclas. I want him gone. Which means for once, I'll... Oh, can I help you? Oh, no. We're going to be tired out. I believe I did a full march, if I remember right. <laughs> oh, that should be good. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're going to be tired in battle. Another challenge for me. Okay, Mad Dog Marty. Don't lose it for me, man. I need you to win. I need a win today. If we're unable to unite the mind of Harkon, or Harkin, in time... Then it's going to be slightly more challenging. He's very powerful. I mean, we'll still be able to pull it off. Oh, we do get a new map. Great. We're over here now. I love it. I would love to play this right now by the ocean. Oh, man. Salty air is fantastic. I love it. All right. They're coming to me, meaning that I'm going to make a defensive posture happen. All right, so I want my deck gunners to be up here where they can shoot over my infantry. Yeah. Carronades, I want you back here. About there, yeah. Guard mode. Necro effects, Colossus, you can kind of be in the front lines. I feel like that'll be safe for you, kind of. Okay, so we want kind of a minimal front line. We don't want one where they can hit us everywhere. My Sirenes will actually be on the front lines to absorb damage. Out of ethereal units I've used, they're by far my favorite. They actually feel very tanky. Okay. I feel like fighting a Tomb King War would be interesting too, when I think about it. But there are many other characters who might engage in that type of activity. We don't need to be the ones to do it right away. All right, come over here, Death Guard. We're going to get ready. We're nearly ready. Morgul's, are you all here? No, not all of you. It's one who's not in position. We'll put them over here. I love that they can stand around the legs of my Necrofex. All right, leadership. Kind of put you in the middle. Wendy, you'll be in the middle too to bring out a few zombies. And Mad Dog Marty, you'll be over here. Okay, that's everyone. I want you three in one group. I want all of you in guard mode. Are all of you in guard mode? Not my necrofaxes, okay. There we are. Now we may begin. Let's have a look at what is going on. I'm going to bring in some zombies right now. They have artillery already hitting me. Very deadly. Very deadly. All right, why don't you aim over here? We're already taking some damage. Well, heal them up. All right, Dikans go out to fight. I'm gonna use my Wraith Storm whenever they blob me, or we can go after their Death Guard right now. Sure, I'll do that. Let's follow them a bit. Oh no, bad weather. Oh my God, look at that skull, or whatever that was, a head. Very creepy head. Already many are gone. That was very powerful. Go get them, we're already taking out the Rotting Leviathan. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, pole arms. I don't want any of you to move. Wait where you're at. We've got a big artillery fight happening. It's really great. Oh, no. My Prometheans, you're being rude. Can you aim at them? You can. Go after their carronade. I don't like that carronade. We'll go after the other one later, but for now, that's the one that's got to go. Okay, why don't you go after their Necrofex now? We'll kill them. They're coming in to fight me. We're going to use a shanty. We use a few grenades. All right. Hold on. What else do we need to do? Let me go look at it real quick. Well, well, there's not too much. I do have a spirit leech. He doesn't have a lot of magic right now. 
That could change later, but right now, not a lot of magic. Okay, on my left flank, we want to go after their Morn Ghouls. We're having a Morn on Morn battle. Dear God, the humanity. Cousins fighting cousins. It's a bloody war. We knew it would be awful. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. They're just here to kill. They're just here to kill. All right. Tech Gunners, I hope you're doing a good job. You are doing a good job, I think. Yeah. All right. Come over here to fight now. Let's go after these units on my right flank. Oh, God. They have a Necrofex right by me. Let's shoot it down. I know you're right in the middle, my friend. Go toss a grenade into that group. My own Carinade, are you actually winning? No, not really. 25 kills, 13 kills. I mean, I'm more worried if they're going after my larger units. In the middle, we have a lot of them, but I'm gonna use another Wraith Storm right on top of them. My Necrofex, I want you to go after, let's look at it real quick. Well, why don't you attack over here? They do have Rotting Prometheans. Time for me to use a big spell right in the middle of their formation. Oh, they're gonna like that one. I know I do. All right, bring in more friends. Leader, I need you to move back. You've taken some damage already. Use a potion. Just charge into the back of their line. I don't want to be in slow motion for too long. Death Guard, come over here to fight. The more ghouls that they have are losing. Mine are much better, and they are supported by Rotting Prometheans, too. Go shoot that group if you want, or actually, you can go after quite a few things. You've got the range. All right, these more ghouls can charge in. Death Guard, move in. I think you can do it. You two, go in too. Brought in some more water units. I mean, we're tired, but it looks like we have the advantage that we need. Good magic, good magic, good showing. Who's low on ammo? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. All right, go after more of what they have, or go after their own carronades. You've got the range for that. They come over here to attack. I feel like between the two of you, you'll be able to wipe them out. All right, let's go check out some units right now. We took a lot of damage there, understood. Let's go after more of them. We've got deckhands who are attacking them. All right, keep on pushing in. Our zombies are fantastic, they're pushing in right now. Let's go finish off all these rotting Prometheans. Oh, look at that, a gunnery mob. Yeah, that carronade is falling apart. They're quite accurate. They're already tearing up all of their actual carronades. Okay, now that we've won on the left flank, let's go after these deck gunners. They've done quite a bit of damage. I mean, they're in a great position on top of that hill. Did we get it yet? Nope, still one left. Okay, my carronade will go after that group. Let's go after, let's see. Oh yeah, we need to fight over here for sure. Keep on fighting, you got it. All right, come over here real quick. How's their leadership doing? Uh, they could use some help, sure, sure. Spirit Leech on their leader. I know that you can heal things up. Let's go heal up my Death Guard, my left flank. They could use a bit of help and buff them up in battle too. I wanna break through a few more of them. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, she's about to break, even though she is level 35 and very powerful. It's a little bit harder for me to tell who's who, even with the banners. We're the same faction, man. The contrast isn't there. All right, we won the battle. Mad Dog Marty fought hard, but now I have a new regiment over now and I wasn't able to get until now. We lost only 241. Oh dear God, look at those equitable kills for our leaders. 55, 55, 48. Okay, which one of theirs did a lot of damage? Carronades, I mean, they were able to attack like the entire time until the very end. Death Guard are always pretty tough. Time for me to replenish. They came to fight me and now they're gone. The magic or the magic that took old Nicholas von Karstein out of Sylvania needed more than just some powerful juju and a titanic will. Some magic trinkets were also used to bolster its energies, one being the mysterious Stone of Schwarzschafen. They say it contains the souls of the great fallen warriors of Sylvania from before the von Karstein's time. Alas, the stone got lost after the Bloody Reaver had an old ripped inner, or yeah, in a hole. A hole. 
<laughs> ripped in her hole by the Heldon Hammers, broadside, uh, tragically spilling some booty into the sea. Can't do that for too long. <laughs> but we did it. Now I have my new unit here, the Blood Reaver Deck Guard. The great warrior souls trapped within wait to be returned to this plane as terrifying sentries in service to the Admirals of the Night. Very good. Campaign movement range up by 10%. Ooh. Very, very good, too. I like that. I wanted to go after that gold, but... Let's go back down here. I feel like killing some elves right now. They annoy me, alright? They do. Let me look at where other pirates are at, because I need to replenish a lot. Oh, good. I'm able to replenish here. That works out for me. Not a lot, but a little bit. I'd like to have more replenishment, but I've got to get my crew to grow. They're not growing a lot. No, they're not. Okay, at level 13, what am I going to give you? You don't need that. What about bribery? No. Deception. Nah. Magical reserves? Yeah, sure. I could land. The last defenders do not like me. I need to find out where that other... The balloon is at. Oh, they're pretty far, yeah. More ghouls. I would like to get some more ghouls. Quest for slaying gold. Can't do that one yet. Deck gunners. Ooh. Rotting Prometheans. Yeah, I want at least two out of three of these for sure. Treasure maps are alright, but it's easier to do other things when the effort's too high, you know. <laughs> I kind of want to scout out down here. I haven't really gotten to see too much of what they have. Hello there. It's me. Alright, I'm going to be selling by. If I come down here to fight the High Elves, we're going to be in for it. I haven't really gotten to fight them too much, have I? I don't believe I have. More replenishment. I haven't lost Queen Bess yet, but... More replenishment wouldn't hurt. Let me go look at our good buddy, Mad Dog Marty. Eh. If I give you that, you'll be stronger. I'm not recruiting a new leader yet, though, so it's all good. It's going to turn again. Oh, that was a pretty fun fight, though. She was quite challenging. I actually like hunting down those pirates. They're pretty challenging. I was kind of curious if we actually... Oh, hello. Another port. It'll be expensive, but we can still do it. Warband of the Hound we've encountered now, and Soldier Tour is another faction we've encountered. Now let's wait a minute. Well, I suppose what I can do to save a bit of time, we can just finally, now that we're kind of in a good position, we can turn off the cameras. Just to kind of have them go through it pretty fast. That'll work. I actually don't mind it on some standard speeds sometimes, but only in the vortex. Whenever you're trying to like inch out for room, you know. Abominations are nearby. Okay. If I do that, Itza won't like me. Oh well. I've already read that before, or I believe I did. Alright, come over here now. Let's go grab another cove. Fleet captain reporting. Come on. Alright, fine. If you need to land, then land. Alright, I'll have to wait a turn, then I should be able to do it. I'll probably just grab another 200 gold. That's my technology doing. We're at 112%. Yeah, 2% per isn't a lot. That kind of like slowly builds up, but it is not a lot. Oh, you know, I didn't build one over here. Shame on me. There we go. 200 more gold. Let me make sure I built them all. I believe I did, but I just want to be sure now. I did forget one. I have the one in Nagarond. I knew that that one would give me a decent amount. 
Even though they're actually not making a lot. I wonder why the AI is not making a lot. They haven't been that productive lately. Leatherin's not making a lot either. I was kind of expecting Leatherin to make like 50k. Yeah, trade is not lucrative for me. I mean, it helps. Sure, it's like a small addition, but that's it. All right, more missile damage for you. We're going to give you Pyromaniac later. Okay. Ooh. Queek is doing quite well. I believe I played Queek first whenever I tried out the Vortex campaign. That was interesting. Oh, yeah, Techless, you got to go. They've conquered way too much down here. I don't want to lose my coves, but at least we have some semblance of corruption in their lands right now. Oh, dear God. Look at my income shoot up over in the Vampire Coast. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm still not ready for a new army yet. Come on. We're moving. Oh, that replenishment. I missed it. I needed that. Let me look at what I'm working on right now. Powder Monkey, right? Armor Piercing. I'm trying to get more followers to enhance my main army for the final battle. Blood and blunder. Oh, it's going to be a good one. No armor for you. Giant Blade, indeed. For more magic, you can take that, buddy. Master Commander, what a great name. Suitable name. All right, so you're moving out. We're bringing you back. I'm the greatest pirate on the high seas. Got walls everywhere. Every location is fortified. I have my ancient vault now. My magic resistance, man. What's it at now? 35%? Yeah, 35. And to mention that 25% uh, standard or item or whatever that I can add to a freaking unit. Wait. Hold on. It just dawned on me. What if I went to go pick up the Sword of Cain? <laughs> Could you imagine? Though, admittedly, Luther Harkon, I didn't really build him for melee combat, but it would definitely enhance him. It would cause a few issues, so that's for damn well sure. Would it be potentially more complicated if I went down that route to do that? Yeah, but would it be funny? I think it would be. His army's held up. Okay, I've got a weird goal now. A goal I didn't know I had until just now. Oh no. This stun's gonna come for me, so we'll have to fight him first. Then we gotta go into friendly waters in order to heal up. I wonder if I can get him to... Are we allied? No. I don't think we can. I'll try to give you a lot of money. Alright, I'll give you a gift so you can shut up. Let me look at her quick. 34, yeah. I don't think he'll be friendly with me yet. I don't want to like cross into his lands. At least my reliability is very high. Yeah. Decent amount of money. I still have a lot left. Oh, wouldn't that be great to get the Sword of Cain before someone else gets it? Alright, another cove. Not worthwhile for me, but I'm taking it anyway. You don't need a Rod of Promethean, do ya? Nah, I'll give you evasion though. Actually, specialist. Again, I'm probably not going to use you in an actual army. Who knows? Like, I could always change my mind, but here, take that. A smuggler's cove. More money. More research rate. That's actually what I'm going for now. Alright, let's come back. As you say. Town Den. You're still alive? Wow. Let me go look at Tankless. Is he allied with, like, a bunch of Tomb Kings? Because look at how their lands are all mixed up. The Tomb Kings... Man, she is doing such a good job down here. I had no idea what job she would do, but she's doing a great job. Good for her. So now we're going to wait a minute. Another Lizardman intervention destroyed. I do not miss those at all. Holy crap. I didn't realize how much I don't miss those. 
At least, I mean, they can only really send them to you whenever you're, uh, what's it called? Doing the ritual. Ah, look who came for me. The Stan Cold Eye Path Guard. We gotta check out the map before we head into it. Again, good training. I've got to try to avoid losing entire units. I'll have to be careful with that. I'm trying to get them all to rank seven. Although my death guard, at least. My gunnery fellows are fantastic. I didn't want to opt to get new units yet. And I didn't want to like get every single unit. I've gotten like a great majority of them, but I wanted to save a few for other campaigns. So it feels like a little bit fresh. It, it really depends on like who they specialize in. If they specialize in a certain type of unit, then we'll probably get more of that. Like I know the count is all about giant Leviathans. Here we have a mixture. All right. They've got artillery. True. Their infantry is okay. Oh, that's a lot of magic. We'll take that. Unfortunately, I was hoping to have his mind united, but that's okay. I'll deal with it. It's just me fighting with a handicap. Okay. You do not have shields, I'm aware. So here's what we're going to do then. We're going to shift you back a little bit. Side reins are going to be in front lines again. Taking all the big hits. Corpse crew, you'll be right behind them. Already boomers, back here. Oh, just click. Queen Bess, you'll be back here. Queen Bess is a monument. Impractical? Hell yeah. Does it matter? Hell no. Necro effects, I want you here. You over here. I love the way our armies go into battle. It's so cool. Morgul's, you're back. Rotting Leviathan, you're back. When you have artillery, you kind of have them come to you, then you begin to react to them. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. You'll be in the middle, buddy. Creepy. You'll be there, Luther. I might have you go after like a wyvern. Alright, I've got some more death guard. Alright, I think that'll work out. Let's get all of our ranged units into their own group. No, I actually want you back in group one. Not my artillery, but I want all of you in group one. There we go. Alright, let's check it out real quick. See what we got. No one's really in range yet, surprisingly. Come on, Luther. Let's go try to annoy someone. Let's move up just a wee bit. Put you into your own group. Okay, heavily armored units. We try to go after some artillery. That would be interesting if it actually worked. But no, we'll go after the Black Art of Nagaron. They're annoying, so I want them dead. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, you kill them. You kill them too. Oh, you're quick, pal. Actually, I'm not going to risk it yet. I could. But I have a feeling we're going to be alright. They're not doing a lot of damage with their own artillery. It's pretty funny, actually. It's rather comical to see how weak they are in comparison to me. Ooh. Carry beat us. Oh, God. You're such a nasty looking unit. Ew. Cats with fire. There it goes again. Another one. Oh, they're trying to rake my units. Oh, it's really not working out. That's comical. Okay. Well, let's have you now go after Black Guard of Nagaron. Let's have these mortars go after... Where are they at? More hand bows. Breath attack. We'll go after that hand bow group too. Oh yeah, gunners. I'll probably move you up. You're in... Yeah. Go shoot these crossbows real quick. Those are Doomfire Warlocks. You should be able to easily cut them down. Or Doomfires. More goals, move back. Move back, Luther. Well, if they're all grouped up, actually. Use your front of deaths real quick. There we are. Right in the middle. Oh no, magic. Alright, let's move up. Move up with all of my pole arms. Oops. A little icon. Would you stop? Oh my god. Improper location. Please, no. Alright. I got a Nagaron. I'm going to target you real quick. So let's go look at what I have. 
Necrofex units, I want you to go after the Karabitas. If I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I don't care. Alright, let's go in now. So I want all of you to go in. Left flank, what are we looking at? A rotting Leviathan. Hmm. Kind of a tough one, isn't it? Death Guard, you'll come over here instead. I mean, you can try to hit it if you want, I suppose. I'm going to get my Mortar to target it, too. Queen Bess, who is such a triumphant unit, will come over here to fight. And that'll do it. Let's move up. More powder for Queen Bess. Good to use fairly early on. Her ammo topped off. Come over here to attack. Necrofexes come over here to attack. The middle's kind of having some issues, I think. Let's come in to fight. I'm gonna use a breath attack first over here before we do that. Then, we'll come on down and kill more of their dark shards. Who are hitting me very hard right now. I am not a fan of your behavior. So I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, Luther. How are you pulling it off? You got them? Good, good, good. Come over here now. Death Guard. Whatever you're able to do, you got it. What about their artillery? Well, I've got a rotting Leviathan down here. If you want to try, try it out. My pet hermit crab will beat the shit out of you. But <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, I'm not. All right. Creepy carry. Let's go. You barely took any damage, Creepy Carry. That's why we call you Creepy Carry. All right. Battle is over. They came after me. They lost a lot. We're going to end the fight now. That's another enemy that I needed to beat. I don't believe I've beaten them before. Yeah, that was the first time. One Necrofex, 151 for kills. Queen Bess again, MVP. Death Guard still getting a lot of kills. Next time I'll probably charge in just for the hell of it. Ooh, here we go. Replenishment. I needed that. Here we go. There be no sailor alive who don't know the tale of Captain Van Geist. A wizard named Albrechtis Van Zyke had paid the ingots out of purest gold to provide passage through the sea of chaos. <laughs> anyway. But when Von Zyke refused the captain's ambitions to get the secrets of immortality from the realm of chaos itself, he got shot, selling on right out of the mortal plane. Van Gaius and his crew left their bodies and material things behind, including the ship's cursed cargo. Its fate remains unknown. I got it now. Von Zyke's last ingots. Only his final gold bar can manifest the trigger happy apparitions that serve the Shade Race ghostly turncoat captain. Nice. Okay. Take that too. You've got all of your buffs for all of your units if they're of the proper rank. Now for you, my friend, I'm going to give you what then? Sure. Wait, that might be a mistake. It shouldn't be boosting your health. Holy crap, that's a huge boost too. Interesting. I'll have to <laughs> report that. <laughs> be like, yo. It's great, but it shouldn't be happening. He's a rotting Promethean. There you go, Sam Jenkins. Oh, easy enough, man. Very easy. I'll take more replenishment. We took the hell out of him, dude. Alright, I don't want him to be mad at me, so we're just going to have to try to move somewhere. Maybe land somewhere. A step too far. Man, even with all my campaign movement, I still can't make it through there very fast. That's interesting. I suppose it depends on the location. Here comes Mad Dog Marty. I don't know if the regiments of Renown actually benefit from the, you know, abilities, the campaign abilities of a Lord. I remember that being an issue before. I'm not sure if that was like, intentional or a bug, so I don't... I'm kind of worried about putting that into my main army. I don't want to disband anyone. I'll keep my units for now, so I'll use my regiments of Renown units over in my secondary army or even a third army. I think that would be fine. I'm going to end our turn again.
I know, I was quiet. I wanted to test all of you. You are probably like, oh my god, did he die? No, I'm still here. Well, I don't know. I'm a dead pirate. Request what you will. Oh, Ashok, hey. I haven't seen you for a bit, buddy. I'm actually sit um oh hold on, what's over here? Clear oceans? Oh that's much better. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't really want I mean that's too many I could see it being good if I was like there wanting to recruit, but ten turns is a very long time. I'd rather move much further out. Here's my powder monkey. It's an extremely dirty and dangerous job, but someone has to do it. After all, even the highest rated admiral had to start somewhere. Alright, we have a powder monkey. Warships are cramped, hot, and dirty, so keeping a small eager youth around to bring up powder from below makes a lot of sense. The Narcissist. Have I had that one before? Huh. Okay. Well, let me move over here real quick to Luther. I'm going to give you that powder monkey. Plus 15 to armor piercing damage for my zombie pirate gunnery mobs and deck dropper units. Ooh, look what I have over here. Gunnery mobs. Yeah, look at that. My regiment of renown doesn't deal nearly as much damage. I don't believe the benefits actually hit them. I suppose it'll make them too powerful, but I'm not too sure. I have no idea. Okay, that would be for my zombie pirate gunnery mobs, which I've already boosted up. More missile damage wouldn't hurt either. There's a lot that I could do for them. I'd love to do that. More ammo for them, 50% more ammo. A master gunner, 15% more range. I'll take that. Nine turns. An expert in his field, able to keep his head under pressure and with a dead eyed stare. Ha! Huh. I get it. He's dead! Alright. My dog, let's go. Originally back home, Luther Harkon. That's why if I was trying to do this over Immortal Empires, imagine one minute per time I have to end my turn. Oh, we'd never get it done, would we? Nope, can't do much with that. Or can I? Oh, I thought I had my... Alright. Farsight, we'll take that. I can move a bit further now. Well, not now, but next turn I can. I should be able to. We're still pretty beat up. I don't need to worry about public order. I've... Increase their location to their capacity. They're doing so well. All right, let's go look for other locations to build coves in. There's the Shrine of Cain. Oh, and I have to fight some high elves. Okay, Loyal I wonder if they're allied to anyone. I want to pop in and out. I doubt I can make it out without having to fight more of them, but that would be pretty funny. I have to wait there for a bit to build some buildings, too, if I remember right. Oh, there's a lot of factions who hate me. There's a few who don't hate me. Ever queen you and 14. You're fighting the Dread Fleet. Oh, they'll like me more for that. Illyrian, Aghole, Scalings. Oh, you're fighting Illyrian. Interesting. Okay. You're allied to Nagareth and Lothurn. Very scary. Wish you were an ally to them. Alright. Let me go make sure. No one picked up the freaking... I don't think anyone picked up the sword. Maybe I'll be able to get it. Yeah, maybe I'll be able to get it. Let's go look around real quick. Madam the drowned, only one location under their control. The so Alright, so, oh my god, you lost your army. You're doing so well, for a bit. I'm the only pirate doing well now. The rest of them are hot trash. The hot trash pirates. Okay, let's end our turn again. I think we're done. I have nothing to spend my gold on, so we might end up getting another legendary admiral to come out. The cool part is I can rename him. I'm glad I can do that. Very handy. Now we're just getting ready for another big fight. The Count Noctilus campaign is going to be fun too. 
will be building back up from the very beginning. All right. Clan Moors and Pestilence has joined together. Which one took over? Was it? Let's see real quick. Where are they? Uh-oh. Was it Clan Moors? Ah, crap. I don't really have a good relationship with Clan Moors. Damn, I lost a good buddy. There you are. Yeah, they don't really care for me. They're actually number two in power. Wow. Okay. Itza, you hate them. Hash treaties. I feel like that should give me more of a boon, but... Here. I'm going to give you a gift. It's a lot of money. 8,000 to 30. That's a big change. <laughs> Let's see if we can work a thing out. Very good. Okay. Get a trading treaty going. That would be even better, but... Yeah, that should do it. That should help out. Queek, I've never seen you do so well. The Skaven are performing. These are my domain. We're almost I home. Oh yeah, traveling from side to side, man. That's a that's a journey. Alright, for me to actually get up here. We'll see how that plays out. Dread Fleet, you like me a lot. Still don't want to have a military alliance. Not any type. At all. Are you sure? This serves my cause. Oh crap. I don't know what I just agreed to. <laughs> Did I agree to buy it anyway? Look at that. 43 now. What do you want, Thrall? Don't you be rude to me. Just because I'm gonna be you later. Oh, okay, you don't like the blood hog. Okay. Mm -hmm. No wonder. That's why then. I'm assuming. All right, Maggie Blackstale, let's bring you out. Sail away. Wave treading. Wait for oh yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. I don't think they can beat me. I've got too much artillery. I don't think the High Elves are going to be a great counter to me. They would have to rush me really hard and hit me really hard, but I have so many things that can slow them down. I'd love to get anything to make me more durable. I already feel very durable in combat. I didn't feel durable initially, but now, yeah. I'm kind of feeling it, man. I'm kind of feeling it. Mortars are just fantastic for taking on a lot of the foes that we fight, like Skaven. Not Lizardmen. Lizardmen are a little bit different. But their numbers aren't high, so we eventually break them down. It's almost time for me to bring back another army. I'll need some more agents. I'd like to recruit a new one, actually. I could... Oh, I know what to do. I already have an idea. Plus two loyalty, not important. Come over here for now. Yeah, that'll work. And what we'll do, infamous admiral. When laying siege, O Bones MacDonald. It's <laughs> a great name. Lord of Vampires, will to pull arm. What about you, Lord of the Deeps? I like that more. Trusty Montford. I like your chance of stealing stuff. That makes me happy. I like her, but she's not a very high level. When I could get one that is a very high level. Yeah. It's just an idea. Of the dead. Let's keep them moving down now. We'll find more ports as we get over here. Oh, hello. Norseman just chilling out. Welch ship taker. We know what he's about. <laughs> Mad Dog Marty. He's finally home. King Hatip, you're still alive? You hear that undead throat singing? Terrifying. <laughs> I love it. No replenishment available. Nor here. I'm trying to find a location where maybe I can replenish. None yet. Alario, would you leave my poor buddy alone? Don't you burn it down. I've had Toran Rock for quite some time now. You a-hole. Alright. Gonna end her turn again? She might even attack me. There's another Skull Reef, too. Pardon me, do you have the Sword of Cain? Is that what I'm looking at? You got the icon on you. 
might as well fight her here and really get him to like me more. I think one curve I would want is one that would allow replenishment. I think that would be more ideal than just the one that gives you infamy per turn. Oh, Tretch is over here. What the fuck, Tretch? Go home, Tretch. Vortex campaign is getting even weirder, but that's just partially due to all the confederations. It's pretty scary. There we go, trusty Montford. As you were. Oh, if I come over here, right? He's got a cursed mist going. He's not allied to me. That's good against uh, our enemies, but not so good for me. Well, I can always heal as I get up there. I'm getting closer now. Oh, we're finally able to move further. Good, good. Oh, actually, if you look at it, me changing my stance doesn't change anything. Maybe I can move it as far as I can. That's really funny if so. Later, man. I'm leaving. Chosen of Isha. Oh, you do have it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to heal up then. I am listening. Yeah. I'm gonna have to heal up, aren't I? There we go, the black coffin. I need that. I've been waiting for that, now we have that. My population surplus is still very high. Mad Dog Marty. Are you about ready? I think he's about ready. I could even break down walls. I'm excited for that one. Let me go look at it real quick. So you have marks of the old ones too. Guess we're conquering down here. Oh my god. <laughs> How many allies do you have? All right, hold on. I've got to start working on my own alliances real quick. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, I know what to do. I know how to bypass that. You listen to Queek, yes, yes. I have the best words. Me too. <laughs> I'm right. Here you go, buddy. Calm down. All right, that'll take time to build up. So let's go look at who's allied to who. All right, you're allied to Order of Lord Masters. What's a minor faction that you're allied to? Itza has a lot too, though. Shoot. Okay. It's not a question of whether or not I, I can beat him. I can beat him. The question is, how time consuming would it be? If I were to attack Itza, then Teclis would come in and probably help out. But the other factions wouldn't jump in. That's how you strategically isolate your enemies. So what we're going to do then, we're going to recruit a new leader. Master. Look at that, level 9. That's 5 more. Where's good old trusty Montford? There we go, leadership qualities. We'll bring him there, he's level 9. The other benefit is, I can just put him up here to Fleet Secretary. Oh, he needs five loyalty. Okay, well, he doesn't have loyalty. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Upkeep goes down by 8%. Now, Pirate Crew growth, that's like pretty much a need, I think, early on, if you really want to get people going. So we're going to move him over here to Fleet Engineer for that. Yeah. I think that'll work out. That's a lot of cool stuff here, isn't there? Anyway. That'll help out his growth. Very nice. Let me get a look at what you have real quick. Smuggler would be okay. Poacher's okay. Ooh. Plus 8% missile damage. For now, though, you know where I'm going with it. Yeah. We're coming down here. I'm going to try to save a bit of money, a touch of money. And for him, he gets the Bloody Reavers, the Shade Wraith Gunners, two very powerful units. I'm going to need some cheaper units too because I can't have all powerful units. That'll be my infantry. That'll be my gunners. Okay, then we're going to want some artillery. So we're going to take mortars. Necrofax is for fun. Well, I've already got a lot of them, I suppose. That's fair. That's fair. 
Two rotting leviathans would be expensive, but fun. Let's go pick up a few things I haven't really picked up a lot of. So that would be hand cannons for one. All right. We haven't really brought in bombers, have we? I'll take in that. I'll need more infantry to help me support. Rotting Prometheans are quite bulky. We'll take in two of those. More goals are pretty good. Animated Hulks. Anti-infantry armor piercing. I'm going to want more artillery. I guess I will bring in the Necrofaxes. Or even the Rotting Leviathans if I wanted to move actively. That'll be two of them. And you're going to want some type of agent to help you out. Oh, there's a lot of you who are just terrifying. Gunnery Whites are fantastic, but let's give you one of these guys over here. All right. Satiable Hunger. Very powerful. Materialize. Yeah, these are all really good. Take them all. Monkey Jacket, take that too. He'll be ready in about five or so turns. I'll take one Bloated Corpse for fun. Okay. And you're going to wait here, Mad Dog Marty. You're going to wait there calmly. We're going to look at what else we can give you. More replenishment and more pirate crew growth. Northman come. With all that pirate crew growth, if I had focus on that early on, oh yeah, you could do a lot. Research available. Let's go look. What was I working on last? Here we go. Working on things for my leader, Luther Harkon. Sam Jenkins, is that in your army? Right. That could go either way. I'm going to give him more range. I feel like that range is going to be nice to have. That's a lot of armor piercing. Dear God. Oh, it's for melee? Okay, not for range. That would lower your range to 144. Let's try that out. Some blunder bust stuff. Look at all the coves around here. <laughs> I've spent a bit of money. It gives me like some things to spend money on. What a weird campaign where I'm not having to micromanage a series of towns all over the map. I didn't know that that would actually be what makes the game very enjoyable. But actually, that's very true when I think about it. When I think back to like Empire Total War, I would play often a minor faction that had a lot of naval power where I could just go around the map making money by going after strategically valuable locations. Oh, a college of nerds. Fire nerds, I gotcha. More replenishment, but more, let's see here. Crewman capacity goes up. Just wanted to try that out. I'll need actual recruitment buildings for that too, but anyway. What shall I give you? Replenishment? Oh, indeed. Marty's going to be able to replenish after any battle. He's going to be happy about it too. All right. You've got a few turns to go, my friend. Ahoy. Trusty Monfort and his one agent. Oh, my bad. Let me actually get rid of the corpse. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Luther Harkon leveled up. Level 35. I wanted to get into like level 40. Level 40 would be the best. Master strikes and more weapon strength. He needs that. I know he needs that. We're going to give him that. I'd much rather... Ooh. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. More physical resistance. Holy crap. Okay, so... It won't matter if I give him the Sword of Cain, he's just going to be strong. We're going to get Rotten Death because that's more physical resistance. And if I get... Let's see, let's see. 10% more. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, she's still attacking. She's losing a lot, though. I'd like to land somewhere. And go oh my god, Alithanar. What the fuck? <laughs> Alithanar decided to move around. Dude, again... I campaign where everyone's just moving around the map on me changing the normal conventions of what I expect them to do mmm okay I see so I'm actually increasing it 
All right, Maggie. I don't have a lot of money for you for once. Okay, so she's got kind of a stable control on the eastern wing, it looks like. Interesting. Very interesting. And I have that now. Income's going up. I'm not going to have a lot of money left. I'll have to go through some pirate skulls in order to really make it back. Or I downsize how many elites I have. That could be the other option. It might have to be the other option. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford those guys. They're rather large and terrifying, and they're really cool. I love them for sure, but that's a lot, man. That is a lot. I've got the scary ladies. I could use more zombies, I suppose, to kind of keep the front lines busy. I've got artillery. I wanted more artillery than what I have, but ah, so be it. All right, let's go grab some pole arms. Make sure that's what I want. Yeah, that's about right. Three turns to go. At least I will have another army to use. Another option is I give him one of my necrofaxes. I might have to do that just to kind of balance it out a bit. Blood and blood. You don't have anything yet? Nope, not yet. But look at that growth. It's very high thanks to uh, everything I've picked up. Accursed Mist, I don't need that right now. Luther, Luther. I really want to go after Ilario. I move here now though, I still end up losing a lot of units. So I'm gonna wait close by. I know these waters. That we do. Five turns to fully heal up. Unfortunate. But as where we're at right now. I can't recruit Sirenes, otherwise I would just pick them up. I would just combine what I have and pick them up. All right, let's end our turn again. I think I've gotten all that I need. Yeah, if we get her, we'll get the Sword of Cain. I've never gotten the Sword of Cain on another character. Maybe I have, I don't remember. I don't think I have on like a non-Elven character, but we'll get her now. She got rid of the Cursed Mist. Then we get to go fight her, take the Sword of Cain, then laugh our way to the bank. <laughs> Just gonna cut down the world. <laughs> I might even put Luther on foot. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It would be fun to watch him on foot. It would be so cool if like every character had its own way of like holding the Sword of Cain or whatever like that. You didn't expect me to go down for that route, did ya? <laughs> Keeping all of you on your toes. Alright. Mad Dog, what's up? What you got? Lowering upkeep? Oh, indeed. Because we are running out of money quickly. I've got how many more turns out? Not too many more. That lowers my upkeep by 5%. We need that, so we'll take that now. Okay, okay. Ooh. Tier 5. 50 more income. Oh, yeah, that ups my income by a further 20% from all buildings. My ports goes up by 10%. Five turns for that one. That's okay. So when we're back, we're going to go after Alariel, begin a war just to get the Sword of Cain. Then we'll come back down, and by tomorrow, I'll be able to show you the final battle. I'm not sure if there's going to be a fix out just then for this battle over here, so I'll do my best and I'll let you know. But it should be out for whenever the actual DLC is out and all of that. Alright everyone, leave a like and comment down below, and let me know what you think about the campaign so far, and let me know what you want me to do for my Count Noctilus campaign to change things up. And as always, until then.